Hey, Corey. Hey, would you like to eat everything off the extra value menu from McDonald's? Hmm, don't see why not. Already fat, might as well get fatter. Welcome to another Mukbang Monday. Ooh. Let's eat. Donald's Mukbang. Look at Who said there was out the What the hell are they doing? The stomp in the yard. Wow, we're not musically talented. What do we got on the lineup today? Looks like we got, are these the, oh, we got some hot and spicies. Here's your fry. My fry, what do we got here? Oh, here's nugs. Here's your cheeseburger. 10 nugs. Oh, here's fries up for grabs. Oh, sweet. Oh, which this reminds me. Oh, your honey? Gotta grab that honey, honey. It's in the refrigerator. Blair's after death sauce. Remember last so month? Not, it's not that it's gonna kill you. Mm -hmm. It's that if you're already dead, it'll re-destroy you. <laughs> That's the kind That's of incredible. life I want to lead. Hey, can I get some liquid fire Mind I can put I my after death sauce? Mm -hmm. Mind if I get some of that? So we each have a chicken sandwich, two burgers, one of which is a triple cheeseburger, mm -hmm. and a double. So a double and a triple, medium fried, 10 nuggets, pop and coffee. And we kind of cheated on this a little bit because we got the value meal items, but they were like, because one of the value meal items is the McChicken. And another obviously. one is sweet tea. Well, that's not what I'm saying. <laughs> But it is on there. It is yeah. on there. You're not wrong, but that's not where I'm going with. But it's not the fact that we skipped the sweet tea. It's the fact that they asked us if instead of the mick chicken, we wanted the spicy yeah. chicken, which really isn't technically a value, a value meal. But but it's so good. We had to the, do it. What are we the, gonna not do it's it? It's a better better alternative. It's to a better the alternative. Get, if somebody goes, you want it spicy or uh, no herbs and spices in it? Oh, give me the plain one. Right. The title of this video will remain unchanged. You're not gonna <laughs> make me change nothing because I don't make the decisions anyway. Sean does. You want to so. tell him? <laughs> Do you want to tell them about that little extra one? Oh, I, that's, <laughs> that goes to show you how confusing they were. They were like, oh, it seems like everything from the value meal. So we started throwing regular, regular McChickens into there. And then the girl saw, we saw her confusion when she's looking in the bag. She's like, this don't look right. She goes, they ordered spicy McChickens. And the guy goes, they're in there. And then he picks out the McChicken. She's like, because all she saw is this. So she's yeah. like, they didn't get their spicy. So he takes one of the McChickens and just throws it back. And then still gave us the other one though. Was like they can only have one of their free. So, but by the way, thank you, McDonald's, for the free. McChicken. I thought they were just fans of the that. series. They knew we were doing a mukbang Monday, and they felt bad for our hearts. And we're like, they don't give them two McChickens, they're gonna die. <laughs> I still want to give them something for free, but right. I want to give them a heart attack before forty. All right, let's eat. What do you want to start with? Do you have a? Um, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna do some nuggets with with, that. with my triple cheeseburger. Okay, I'll follow suit. I mushed my triple cheese. For that thumbnail a little bit. Sacrificing for you guys. So three patties, huh? Trace amigos. Yeah, look at there they are. Mundo trois. So Jack Black's getting McDonald's and he's putting front of like, so you put your french fries and your burgers. Yeah. It's like if a cow was eating some wheat and then his hooves were stomping on potatoes, <laughs> and that's what I have. Potatoes and wheat and cow. Something like that. <laughs> If you do not put your fries on your burger, you're doing it wrong. You're doing it wrong. And Jack Black doesn't respect you then. Yeah, and that's a, so, someone you want to respect mm -hmm. you. Mukbang Monday, cheers. Cheers. Oh, it's just so good. McDonald's is a classic. Sean and Corey. Yes, how do you How do you eat so much and not gain weight? We do. Mm -hmm. We gain all the weight in our ankles. Mm -hmm. You guys only really ever see us waist up. Mm -hmm. Our bottom halves are rough. Oh, it's not good. Plus a lot of weight. What a great problem to have. I always used to joke in high school that that would be the best pill you could invent. If you got all the fat that you ate just to go straight to the dick, you'd be a billionaire. That's another Daniel Tosh joke I love so much. I had to wear black condoms because they're slimming. Do you know how hard it is to grow up when you're a little bit different than all the other kids? Every day in school I would hear it. There goes Daniel. He's got a fat, fat dick. Tosh. Do you, have you ever met anybody who likes Daniel Tosh more than me? I feel like I reference him a lot. Oh, I do like I'm, him a lot. Mm-hmm. Mm. You know, we caught a lot of flack for liking the hot and spicy more than the Wendy's spicy chicken. You and know I what? get it. One, two, three, run! <laughs> and we we called that 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 would happen. And what I'm really curious is, I like how we, we I just I was just gonna say it's funny how people were really bummed as if they like had stock in Wendy's. It's just because it's cold, you gotta let it. Dude, it's cold. Gonna be Put it in the refrigerator. Now. I'm gonna take a bite of my hot and spicy. Is that okay? Mm -hmm. You know what I would love to know? How many of those people who were mad mm -hmm. had tried both? A lot of people were just very quick to say that everything that the chicken from McDonald's was like pros processed and like not real, blah blah. 
Are you out of your mind? Yeah, that, I saw that one too. I'm like, as if Wendy's doesn't use processed meat. Do you think Wendy's is actually like abiding by every food health law and they, McDonald's just isn't? Yeah, you think that Wendy's has an actual butcher back there getting out fresh hamburger ground beef, you know? Like, like Daniel, like Dave Thomas's ghost. Which is, I do get it. It's Wendy's is a classic. Mm -hmm. And McDonald's, I mean, they had it like two years ago, I think, but I don't think it's been a, a menu item for very long or often. Right. So I, don't, I think there's a lot of people just didn't try it and are like, these guys can't be right. The Wendy's one is more prevalent. Perfect chance to use the word iconic and you didn't go with it. Damn it! Iconic. But it really is. And they were both phenomenal. Yeah, they really were. Mm-hmm. Oh, I haven't had a nugget yet. I'm gonna start my nugget train off with some after death sauce. That is a bold move, my friend. I respect it. We gotta get that hot ones, their hottest sauce now. When it goes on sale, you know oh, we're about to make yeah. a video. We're gonna have to. Mm-hmm. I said that and then I went ranch first. I wanna coat my mouth. <laughs> if you guys have any suggestions for mukbangs that you want us to do, like the Taco Bell breakfast menu and the McDonald's breakfast menu, everything at Arby's, I don't know, just let us know. Always comment below mm -hmm. with any suggestions. We do read them because sometimes, like today, we didn't know we were going to do a mukbang. We looked at each other and went, you know what sounds really good? Everything at McDonald's. Mm -hmm. It's one of our favorite spots. We eat at McDonald's a lot together. We Their don't really. It's just, yeah, it's iconic. <laughs> it's iconic. All right, ready? How much you think I can do? Tell me when. Lather it up. Don't ha don't have me do that. I will ruin you. Is this too much? Jesus. I didn't say when. That's a lot, dude. <laughs> this stuff is like pure biohazard juice. Does it feel like you're in after death? Why do I do this to myself? For these guys? I hope you guys appreciate it. I don't think they do. They're like, why is he doing that? <clears throat> you're basically giving yourself a ulcer. A tummy ulcer. Mm-hmm. This is how disgusting I am as a person. Oh, I'm excited for this. I don't mind eating chicken nuggets even plain. I don't either, as I dip one in ranch. They're good. Gun to your head. All right. You have to pick something from McDonald's, and it's the only thing you're ever allowed to order going forward, and it's not fries. Do you pick nuggets? No, McDouble. McDouble? Mm-hmm. I go McChicken. Really? Yeah. I think I could... I like the McChicken, but I think I could go more consecutive days eating the McDouble. Yeah, I think it would last longer before it got old is the only. I know you're going to think I'm a crazy person. Mm -hmm. I'm more of a chicken sandwich person than a, than a burger person. Mm. I like fried I chicken more than beef. I do too in the real world, but not in the fast food world. Oh, okay. If that makes sense. Uh huh. My favorite part about that scenario is that the fast food world lives outside of reality. Mm -hmm. I love that. Mm -hmm. It has, like, in a weird way, become its own genre. Uh huh. You know what I mean? And it's normally a pretty negative stereotype. Yeah. People are like, if you eat fast food, you get fat and die. So we have a lot to look forward to. <laughs> a bright future, they would say. I'm enjoying this. This is just fun. Well, what'd you finish? Triple cheese? Triple, triple cheese out of the way, and I'm gonna tap out. I'm full. Yeah, You're right. out of your mind. That after that sauce got me buzzing. Feeling good? Mm hmm. I feel like kind of drunk. Wow, really sweet. I wish I was you. I found it is thick. Yeah, should I leave it out? I think you have to keep it in the fridge now. Nice. Right? Oh. Yeah. It's, it's not, not bad. No. Dude, I like the patty and the hot and spicy. Oh yeah, that's what I'm having next. Ten piece. Peace. Oh nice. P I E C E followed by P E A C E. The English language is a weird beast. Too many words that are phonetically the same. Mm hmm Phonetic. Got to use it today. Yeah. Look at you. I forgot to put fries in my McChicken. Frying it all up. I don't want to use too many. I want to save some just for chowing. You know it would be a really epic collaboration? What's that? And we're obviously a pretty small channel at this point. If you and I could go hang out with Harley and go on epic meal time, and they make those gigantic portions. I've never seen that. I don't know who that is. It's funny because so many people that watch the show don't realize that Corey doesn't have the YouTube knowledge of like creators like I do. Mm, I, don't I know them all. Much. I had to bring Corey into that world. Isn't that crazy that he doesn't know epic meal time? And you guys are probably like, Holy crap. Would you guys like to see us collaborate with them? Let me know. If Thanks. so, don't let us know. Go tweet at them yeah. or comment on one of their videos. Go to Harley's vlogs and write it. Because we know we want to, but we got to get them to want to. <laughs> They're from and based out of Canada. Montreal. What do they do? Do they cook their own food? Dude, it's insane. They've been around forever. Mm -hmm. They make like giant portions. They're like, but they have really good culinary skills. A burger that takes up this entire table and the bun is made out of other McChickens that have been deep fried as the bun and the beef, it's like, it's like novelty Just food. Epic meals. They, and then they eat it and they put all this like crazy montage music. Oh, You'd that sounds it. cool. You'd yeah. love it. Mm -hmm. That sounds super cool. I feel like we'd sync up with those guys 
They're just cool dudes. And they just drink and hang out and... Mm. Yeah, it sounds like right up my alley. Yeah, you'd love it. Dropping lettuce, dropping, dropping lettuce. Oh, cool. I'm cruising through this. Yeah, you're doing well. I was starting to get a little full. I mean, slightly, and I was like, oh, I hope I don't have too much left. And as it is, I don't. We are destroying our bodies, by the way. No, we're not. We're doing well. We're basically like, because we don't usually eat after these for the rest of the day. We're really for the next 20 hours. Uh -huh. Yeah, more or less until we do another one of these. Like I'll have a banana or whatever in the morning. I'll have my little juice, but other than that, I'm not really eating from now until our next video. Right. And basically, we're like, all right, fuel her up. Matter of fact, put some extra gas in the tank in the trunk. Well, you know, the gas can in the trunk. We're like extra fueling our bodies. Right. And trying to go like Prius style, like 800 miles on it. If metabolism is a real thing and not a made-up term, Which ours is. are destroyed. <laughs> Eating 24 hours, like a day's worth of calories in, what, 20 minutes? has got to be the wrong way to do it. Although, I eat five small meals a day. Yeah, we don't. Counter argument. What about uh, uh, intermediate fasting? I mean, more or less intermittent. We're intermittent fasting. We're more or less like, all right, I got all my calories in because that's kind of their move, right? That's you can only point. eat between these hours. This might be the perfect testimonial for intermittent fasting. We fast from like 5 p.m. to 3 p.m. Oh yeah, because my drink doesn't count. I think you can have a juice in the morning that doesn't that doesn't break the intermittent fasting. Yeah, because that's just like that's vegetable. Mm -hmm. Not to mention that's vegetable nutrients. Yeah, just cucumber, carrots, uh -huh. and an orange. But I can understand why people think we eat like this all the time. Oh yeah, totally. Whenever you see these videos, we're not like going to McDonald's together with the camera off. Yeah, right? <laughs> hey man, you wanna go you don't get, yeah. sit in your car and get McDonald's out the, without the camera? Yeah, I'm not texting Sean at seven in the afternoon like, dude, you trying to go get some more fast food? I haven't had enough for today. I'm gonna like, take a little breather on some fries just cause they're so good. Plus you gotta eat them before they get cold. Mm-hmm. Dude, have you heard this? I'm not. I'm asking because sometimes I think I make stuff up. Oh. I can't really truly remember if I'm hearing, if I'm remembering this right. Uh huh. Is it true that like the way of making McDonald's fries is, it has to do with like a freezing and then unthawing and then refreezing an unthawing process? That I don't know. If you, if that's true, I've never heard that. Somebody at some point posted on like how to make McDonald's fries at home, and there was like some some idea and that's of the like, process of like cooking partially. Freezing for 24, or freezing for a while, and then in the fridge for 24 hours or something like that, and then recooking. That seems like so against what you're ever supposed to do, but sure, but maybe. it kind of makes sense that like, these are probably already pre-cooked before they get sent from corporate wherever right. to the store. Right. So they're probably pre, they probably are pre-cooked, put in like a frozen semi-truck in a bag of a ton of fries, and then taken and dumped into the deep fryer. Right. So it's probably is how they do it. That does sound correct. You know what I mean? Like, they're probably not raw potato they're sending there. Right. Interesting, huh? Oh, last two. Mini mm. McGangbang. It's like a little mini McGangbang. That's a prize. Oh, duh. Check this out. All right. And the spillies will be whatever you have left. Did you call it the spillies? Yeah, the spillies. <laughs> That sounds like an award show. The Spillies. Welcome to the 2017 you know what would be an award show? You know what would be an award show for? It would be for those Dream infomercials one? where people are like, ooh. Mom and dads will never clean up messy drink spills again or change soaked outfits at the last minute. <laughs> and and, and whoever we, had the best spill for 2017. We got to go to Blonde Woman 2. Painting is such a mess. The pan, the can. Tired of the drips and spills that make painting such a chore? Hi, I'm Adam J, and this is the Spill Daddy Paint Pro. A picture of Kool-Aid. Don't, <laughs> don't you hate when you make Kool-Aid for the kids? <laughs> Ordinary mops making a wet mess of your floors, pushing messes around, and wasting money on costly disposable pads? Wow, that's really funny. I think we just might have tapped into the industry. I love the onions on the McDubs. And they snuck a little chunk of lettuce on there. Check it out. I'm gonna keep it. Mini McGangbang. Two chicken nuggets, two patties of beef, fries. Mc Mini McGangbang. I like that because you are getting the chicken on there. Mm -hmm. Whoa, dude, you just created that, I think. Okay. Mayonnaise from the from the McChicken, though. You're not getting oh, So right. you are missing a sauce, but. So, part of the mini. Guys, check out where I bit it. <laughs> Isn't that your favorite? You should just start holding your uh, open mouth up to the camera so I can see the mm -hmm. bottoms of your teeth. Oh! Have you guys noticed? Holy sh dude. Ding. You scared the f out of me. No more gray tooth. He got his tooth. Just yesterday, got the temp taken off, the permanent taken on, and away we go. Mm -hmm. Congrats on having a normal face again. I'm so excited. It was a long process. And thank you, Lori you've been, Nevin. You've been gray for, yeah dude, Lori Nevin's donated $100. 100 bones. To Corey's medical bills. Mm hmm A Patreon, and a friend of the series, Lori Nevin's. Lori, seriously insane of you. Yeah dude, so awesome. Can't believe that. I guess, I, she was like, I know what it's like to have uh, like dental issues, so she must have had something that probably like, 
Yeah. That flavor profile. I know. It's so tried and true. It's such a winner. What's this mean? I have a scale. Twice as tasty. And there's a scale. Do they weigh out two times two two amounts of tasty? <laughs> How many ounces does it take for one tasty? Yeah, that's a good question. I think they're assuming because a second beef patty mm. makes it double as tasty. That makes sense. Which doesn't really make sense because the taste is the same. You're just putting more of a same taste. Mm -hmm. Beef patty, let's say it's really tasty. Adding two, it's the same taste. All it is is weight. Can I make an argument against that? Yeah. Simply put, normal sex versus threesome. That's not the same. You're not going, I mean, it's just, there's no sex. It's still just sex, right? The more the merrier. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Not that I would know, I'm a loser. I'll wait for you, and I'll last bite it together. Mm. There's nothing more rewarding than finishing at the same time. Mm-hmm. Just a couple of bros pacing their food together. That was delicious. How are you feeling right now? You'd think I'd feel way worse, but after 160 episodes on our channel, you realize it's that many? Mm. That's insane. We've uploaded 160 videos to our channel. Um, I think that my body knows how to respond to like mass eating. I gotta stop on mukbang days. Stop doing my protein shake after my workout. Cause I do it with milk too. So it's like extra Yeah. Thick. <laughs> clean up, clean up. Everybody everywhere. Eat it bitch, it's always good. Every Monday, Corey Wagner and myself upload a Mukbang Monday. That's what you just viewed. Hope you liked it. On Tuesday, he's alive. And then on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, we do food reviews. Food reviews. And on Friday, brew and view. We drink something, we watch something, we laugh something. It's a pretty simple concept. Yeah. And one we've mastered. <laughs> so thank you guys for coming along for the ride so far. Plenty of fun stuff coming up and going forward. If you guys haven't checked out our Toledo videos that we just put up last week, check them out. If you have checked them out and you're from Toledo and you caught it on Facebook, check out our YouTube page. Subscribe, like, do all that nonsense. You're gonna love it. We did seven straight videos Monday through Sunday. We don't normally upload on Saturday and Sunday, but for Toledo, we, had to. we did it. They were too good to us. We had to give them the goods back, you know? Hot, hot.